Okay, that's fine. We're trying to get ourselves together, folks. Uh, Welcome to Beauty and Mixtures. I am Nicole. Annie, right here. Uh, oh, chewing on a mint. We are we're chewing on mints, <laughs> which is fun. And I'm pretending, like, we um, have these microphones, and if I were on news, I would, I, I would just try to, I would just keep playing with it. Right. That's and all. I'm, it's okay. really not funny, probably. <laughs> And I tried to walk away on Annie and get some more water and almost dragged her with me. Anyway, we're good, though. So we're here. Today's episode, we, we wanted to cover a question that we think will actually benefit a lot of people. So yeah. this comes from Snip, Stimmied in Michigan. You know who you are. And the question is, hey, you know what? I love, you know, whole grains, vegetables, yada, yada, but I am uh, married to someone who just likes their meat and their potatoes, you know? Uh-oh. How do you make this mixed food r- marriage, if you will, kind of work? So, um, I think it's a great question because... Not only for a marriage, but like your kids, too. Yeah. You know? Right. I Anyone mean, in your house. It's the whole, like, do I have to make six meals? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yep. Um, you want to know what I did? Well, what did you do? <laughs> so I'm in a mixed household. Um, mm-hmm. At least I was. <laughs> so uh, first oh. recommendation from Annie. Yeah. Be in charge of what is cooked <laughs> and what, what comes home from the grocery store. Number two, cook the food. Mm-hmm. Number three, only offer one thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I met Brian... I don't know, however many years ago. And at the time, his kid was eight years old. She ate mac and cheese, chicken tenders, mm-hmm. milk. Mm-hmm. That might be a hot dog, maybe. Sure. Oh, I w- and I was like, I, I had many words, but uh, we won't get into that. That's a whole nother conversation. So I'm like, what? And so I'm like, well, you know, tonight we're having, you know, like, for example, uh, uh, I don't even know what I would make, but like uh, everyone would have a salad and, you know, she was okay with, you know, iceberg lettuce with mm-hmm. ranch and cheese on it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nope, mm-hmm. that's not, we're not just going to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Like we need to eat other things besides these five foods. And so sure. I gave her regular lettuce, like green lettuce. Um, and you know how sometimes there's red lettuce that comes in mixes sure. and stuff like that. She would pick it out and wouldn't eat it. And ah. I'm like... That's that's fine. And so basically with her, I did the Mosley uh, approach, which was you eat what is served to you. And if you don't like it, such is life. Yeah. Well, guess what? She eats every day in her lunch is red lettuce and (laughs) she eats vegetables now. And she has uh, she eats sushi. She eats um, and she's and she's not it's not like she's 20 years old at this point and Mm -hmm. grew up. I mean, she's she's 13. Sure. Um, but really, it took a lot of I don't eat that, and I'm not right, eating that. Right. Um, as a in a in a whole process of, you know, introducing foods mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. to to her as a child, where like you know she wouldn't eat cauliflower. All right, well let's let's chop it up real small and put it in something, mm-hmm. and it's cooked and it, it's kind of a little bit more mushy, and then we'll make it a little bigger, and then we'll do this. And mm-hmm. the girl eat a whole onion if you give it to her raw, like an apple, sure. and that would have never happened. That's amazing. It was, uh, and, and there is a process for that with children. Uh, so I did that approach, and at, at first, I, Brian was just like, well, we, she needs to eat something. And I'm like, mm-hmm. nope, no, it's fine. Mm-hmm. This is what we're making. And, right. and that's, I think, the hard part that parents really struggle with is kids start crying and putting up a mm-hmm. fight and so they just cook the chicken nuggets anyways right i'm not saying there's anything wrong with chicken nuggets however we should not eat chicken nuggets three times a day Correct. for every meal at age 10 right at age three that might happen because of food jacks mm-hmm. now we talk about um you know our husbands they can also get crabby with what's being cooked <laughs> So that's my two cents on children. Brian, I didn't have as much of an issue. And I, uh, you and I have talked about this, Nicole, where um, I have tried countless times to get Brian to eat a different yogurt mm. uh, than his current choice yogurt, which is Light and Fit. Mm. Which we're going to talk about, guys. That's, yeah, that's a whole Not different conversation. Um, and I can't get him off that. But I have had better success with other things. He's a really good eater, though. Mm-hmm. Um, he's He grew up meat and potatoes. Yeah. He never would have touched fish or sushi or, you know, mm-hmm. weird, quote unquote, weird things until he hit college and was like, this is so stupid. I can at least try these things. Sure. Um, so he's actually a pretty good eater. I'm a I'm a good eater that way. And, and I really only had to deal with uh, getting his kid to eat. Mm-hmm. And now I can't. I mean, there isn't anything I don't make that she doesn't eat, which is 
awesome. It is really she good. She does struggle a little with spicy things time sure. and again, but I think that, you know, that's more of a, um, <clears throat> I think that can be more of a preference versus just, mm-hmm. you know, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people smell food and then decide they don't like it. Oh, sure. <laughs> so um, I've, I've had really good success uh, with that method mm-hmm. um, with kids, and I venture to guess it would help with husbands. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I know for, for myself, my husband and I pretty much make our own food. So oh, no. We make our own things, um, you know, separately since I'm kind of the... Since I am the... You're the odd duck. I am the odd duck. Um, you know, I usually make a lot of extra vegetables for him, but... So he does eat vegetables? Oh, yeah. He definitely eats Is vegetables. he a meat and potatoes and guy? And he definitely likes it when... He's definitely a meat man. He's definitely a potato man, but he's not limited to that. So mm, he really... Okay. He likes when I make certain... Do you cook meat? ...vegetarian things. I used to... Um, <clears throat> I mean, not for yourself, but like when you cook correct, it? Correct. Correct. Yeah. 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 I can handle... I can handle okay. doing that. It used to really bother me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really struggle with the smell just because oh, I'm sure. not, you know, no, as there, used to that. But, yeah, yeah, but no. it, it really doesn't necessarily gross me out so much anymore. And but he doesn't mind the vegetarian options. Not and, at all. Not, no, pretty, which is, makes it good. So you both are pretty good eaters. Yeah. yeah. So what do you do in a situation yeah. where a household, uh, let's talk about adults, are split between right. two different ways of eating? What's yeah. your recommendation? Well, so kind of, you know, even what you were saying, even with, with a child too, I think it's, it's, I hate to put it in these terms, but it's just exposure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, as how many t- times does it take to try th- something? Well, three typically <laughs> is what it, what it is. But, um, I was told Brian, it was like 15. So he, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I could just keep yeah. making what I like. But I think the thing is, is even when you kind of want to offer something different in the minute you get a, uh, you know. A, I don't want this or a yeah. nose or a look or something like that. You immediately like, okay, I can't do that again. Where it's like, nope. you know, how can you just integrate things on a smaller basis yeah. and not, not exactly replace what the other party is used to having, but how can right. you include, you know, other things or giving a smaller portion of what, what was, and then adding in an additional portion of something new, you know, to right. try and to do it again. And again, it's, it's not, you know, we, we don't always convert people and I don't think that that's, that's our place to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think helping people maybe see that different and newer foods aren't as scary as we thought that right. they were, you know, is, is helpful. Well, but, one of the things that, you know, speaking of, uh, the gal in Michigan, yeah. the, uh, you know, talking about how she likes whole grains and stuff, it, it made me think when, you know, trying to get Jocelyn from white bread and, and we would buy Ezekiel bread. Sure. And so, you know, I made the mistake of, well, you know, here's an Ezekiel bread, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and she wouldn't eat it. Well, then I went to wheat bread that was, you know, white bread dyed or you know like white bread but it was brown bread. white bread yeah. yes exactly and yeah. then then we went to wheat bread that mm-hmm. was brown mm-hmm. realized oh okay that's not so bad sure then we went to a, a not the sprouted grain ezekiel bread with her but like a just something with things in it sure <laughs> Seeds of some seeds. nature. You know, something that had texture. Mm-hmm. Now she'll eat Ezekiel bread. You know, sure. so again, it, it takes steps. Transitions. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it's even um, it, when I make green beans as they are, green beans, mm-hmm. Brian and, and Joss will just kind of be like, meh. Sure. They don't really want them. But if I do it as green bean almondine or I put it in a pot pie or now it's it's within something, sometimes that makes it a little bit easier, especially with certain vegetables that maybe have odors or textures or mm-hmm. um, flavor that just is not is a yeah. little off. Sometimes yeah. your greens are, you know, yeah. kind of gross and stuff. But the thing is, 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 you know, we eat what we're used to. We have a trained palate and people don't understand yes. that they can actually retrain their palate. Yep. So, um, you know, even like when, so this, this is a little bit of an example of, um, when I'm working at, with, with a client and we're starting to kind of change what they're used to eating and taking, you know, like re- maybe reducing sugar somewhere, or just like looking at not adding as much sodium or something to something. 
all of a sudden they've been doing that for two weeks and then they go back to like say a high sodium thing and they're so sensitive to it right which is so cool mm-hmm. because it's like oh i get it now i yep. really can train my palate you so 100 percent. but it also takes the 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 partner to be a, a willing partner <laughs> right right <laughs> they have to want to as well i mean we right. certainly just can't impose what we want for right. them on them um, but we can offer and we can continue to offer and um, hope that they maybe try every now right. and again. But by no means should we be cooking four different things. Sure. You know, one different meal for each person, you know. Mm-hmm. So if you can avoid that, you know, obviously there's things like allergies and stuff like that. But, you know, you cook something and it maybe was something that someone in your household tried once and they didn't like it do it again. You know, like it takes a, a few times and we want to make sure if we're that person mm-hmm. that that we keep our eyes open and really know like this is really something I've tried a few different ways and a few different times and it's really something that I don't like. But uh, like for me, I don't like onions, but you know what? If it's in a soup, I'm not going to not have that soup. Sure. Um, it's disguised a little bit or or in certain, certain recipes I have, I mm-hmm. will put onion in it even though I don't like it because... Yeah. Um, other people like it, and I know it's something that I can tolerate at that level, but I'm not going to eat it like an apple. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, there's there's ways to go about that. And if you, can, if you can hide things, just because kids say, or an adult even, says, I don't like X, it doesn't mean it can't be changed or morphed into something a little bit more manageable to, to be able to, to jive, mm-hmm. uh, especially with cooking and groceries and, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. And you can always play around, too, with certain prizes that come with yeah. <laughs> trying certain things. <laughs> yeah. You can have some fun with that. Yeah. So. <laughs> like, are you thinking, like, ice cream after dinner? Yeah. That kind of prize? <laughs> or, like, a chocolate? <laughs> Lots of things can be prizes. So. Yeah. Um, at any rate. Uh, so, yeah. Well, on so that that's, note. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's just some fun food for thought um, in that respect. But... I, I think what's also really important is, is I, as we were talking about before, though, is that we, we really can't make anybody, you know, want to try anything or, or change anything. And the more that we want to impose certain things on, the more we're actually going to push push that person person right. away, we have so to, be to speak. Kind. So yeah, I mean, there know, is research on the Muslim method. That is a thing that is used in oh, healthcare yeah. to to help kids. Well, in particular, eat. that's great for kids. Yeah. But, you know, it's, adults are different. It's a little different <laughs> with adults because there's you know kind of because they're adults, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. <laughs> right. So, I mean, that exposure, though. Yeah. We know exposure yeah. therapy works. It can work in this regard, too. Yeah, yeah. But also, like, if you're making something that you really enjoy, you know, really play that up a lot. Like, yeah. oh, my gosh, this is so good. Even do, like, the right. whole, you know, <laughs> when Harry met Sally thing. I mean, give it a real good go. And if if that sounds interesting to that person, they might actually try they it. They might at least, <laughs> at the very least, try it. Yeah. If not pretend to. Like yeah, it because exactly. you love it right, so right, so much. Right, right, right. So, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> onward and upward. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, all right. Let us know if you have any more questions. <laughs> Any more things that you would like for us to tackle for you? We will 100% <laughs> We are here to serve. For you. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. All right. Take care.